Big news coming in at this hour that a source close to Hezbollah has told the AFP news agency that the Lebanese group slain chief Hassan Nasrallah has been temporarily buried already. Has happened in a secret location because there was a concern what if uh, Israel could target even the funeral procession. A Lebanese pro uh, official has informed the AFP news agency, the international news agency, and on condition of anonymity that Hezbollah had tried two Lebanese leaders to obtain guarantees from the American side to let them have a mass funeral for Nasrallah. But because there have been constant raids and strikes by Israel, even in Beirut, there were no guarantees obtained and therefore they have decided to go ahead with possibly a secret burial. I want to immediately bring in India Today's Foreign Affairs editor Geeta Mohan for the latest on that. Geeta, this is big because at some level I was expecting that this could be a show of strength that there would be this outpouring to show how Nasrallah met to the Muslim world. What do you think is the reason? What clarity do you have? Well, Pooja, we were the first ones to report on the fact that the uh, that the funeral today is a symbolic one, that there could be a symbolic burial too, because uh, unless and until he gets a decent burial with all the leaders involved, uh, there, uh, the, the, uh, they should not be putting him or laying him to rest in the manner and the uh, honor that he deserves by the uh, by the by his followers and community. Having said that, according to the Islamic rules, uh, the uh, a body is not kept unless and until there are forensic investigations that are involved. Uh, a body is not kept for more than 24 to 48 hours. Uh, this has been more than that, uh, and that's the reason why they are going to very discreetly uh, bury him for now. But there is going to be when the time is right. Uh, uh, for a, a proper burial with the uh, with the leadership who are who have who have not just followed Hassan Nasrallah but also have been allies of Hassan Nasrallah being present there and in that also India Today uh, and India Today Global has been reporting on this very very clearly that there are three places where Hassan Nasrallah can uh, be buried. One is uh, there's a lot of conversation that he could very well be buried okay. in. Uh, uh, Lebanon itself. The other place is Najaf in Iran, but the most hmm. probable could be Karbala in Iraq. Karbala, one of the most holiest sites for Shia Muslims, yes. and uh, 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 a place Gita, of where. Gita, where also tell us about Khamenei's speech, the speech that has happened in the background of the burial or a secret burial, as it appears. What should be the key takeaways that we have from what Hassan, uh, from what um, Ali Khamenei said about Hassan Nasrallah? Well, uh, one is that uh, he is a revered leader. Secondly, is uh, is that the, the Iran is always going to stand by Hezbollah and is always going to be there uh, in this fight against Israel. But most importantly and diplomatically to see whether it, it is coming from Iran or from the Iranian ambassador who just spoke to us, uh, the fact that the attack, the missile attack that is carried out by uh, Iran was for the violation by Israel of Iranian territory and sovereignty in killing and assassinating Ismail Khania on Israeli soil. And that's the reason why they retaliated, not for any other reason. This is in Iran trying to contain and not escalate the situation. But the biggest message over here is when Khamenei said that uh, the uh, Israeli premier will be assassinated. So that's a major that's a, threat. That's a direct uh, threat. Yes, Gita, that you're telling us. Yes.